So here's the deal. Somebody's just walked into four golf Chester with a one iron. I know what you're thinking, average golfer hitting a one iron, dream on. But it's not any one iron. It's the smallest, most compact one iron profile that I've ever seen in my life. Not just that, it's probably in the region of 35 to 40 years old. Get in focus. That is the Ping Karsten 3 one iron. Stainless steel cast cavity back. Get me back in focus. And it's the smallest golf club iron I've ever seen in my life. And I'm about to try and test it and see if I can hit a few golf balls, get some data, and see how a club from 35 years old compares to the modern day club. Just how much has technology moved on. one iron first thing you've got to say is how good were the players who used this club their ball striking must have been absolutely phenomenal because it is the tiniest profile i have ever put down behind a golf ball at the heel end it's barely an inch high it gets gradually bigger obviously towards the uh towards the toe end and this pointy look that it's got which i am a, absolutely love to be honest with you um but there's virtually hardly any golf club sat behind the ball. So to find that centre consistently, you've got to be a phenomenal ball striker. Once again, it sits back that little bit of, um, it sat back off the hosel, off the shaft. And I love the way it sits behind the ball, sort of frames the ball really nicely. I love that, others wouldn't. Um, it's a very, very unique iconic design and it stands out a mile and it looks superb heel toe perimeter weighting again cast club stainless steel i can't say a great deal about it the, the question is going to be is whether or not an average golfer 40 years on from this club release can i find the middle of the club face and it'd be good to do that on a couple of occasions but then maybe more interesting than that what happens when i don't find the center of the club and how much does performance drop off compared to maybe what would happen with your modern day UDI irons, do they call them? Again, we've got likes of the X-Forge now from uh, Callaway, that kind of thing. So I wonder how, um, what have we got? What do they call the, um, the crossover irons from Ping would be there, sort of head to head, we'd put it up against. And uh, I assume there's gonna be massive differences in terms of sweet spot. But shut up and let's see if we can hit the golf ball. Interestingly enough, the one thing that's just crossed my mind as I'm speaking to you is the camera is about three yards off of the line that I am aiming at, at the smallest one iron I've ever hit in my life. And I'm just thinking, do not hit that camera. That said, if I did hit the camera, the video would probably get more views as a viral video on YouTube. So every cloud, but don't hit it. End the video there, found the sweet spot, absolutely nailed that, what a start that was. Right, uh, before I give too much away, let's hit some more golf balls, let's see if I can do that a few more times, I will no doubt not do that a few more times and I will find a bit more of that club face because that was a really good start and then we'll sit down, have a look at the numbers and see how I've got on with this absolute iconic golf club. I can't wait to hit a few more shots with that.
Right, okay, so back to the office and uh, how much fun was that? And I first of all got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with my own performance, let's just say that, because when I took one look at that one iron, I thought about as much chance of recording a few decent shots on that. Seriously, I thought I had no chance whatsoever. So I'm relieved, I'm pleased, my ball striking with a one iron, I've got to say I am more than happy with. Um, and the one iron itself, oh my word, how good does that look? You know, I just, I wish that I thought I could hit the ball that decent on a more frequent basis, cause I would put it in the bag. I love long irons and I love a driving iron. Uh, and the look on this thing, the sharp edges, it's just such an iconic club. And I said in the previous video that I did about the seven iron, um, sorry, the Karsten one set of irons that I tested was the, Ping, why did you change this iconic style? I just don't know why you did that. I assume through down to performance related issues because it just stands out a mile. It's iconic ping. The minute you see it on the shelf, you know that's a ping club. You're not disputing it. And now every club looks very, very similar. We've all morphed into one. And uh, that's such a, such a shame. I just wish they'd have kept that. We should start a campaign to bring back the old iconic ping look. Right, anyway, let's have a look at this data because the interesting one for me and what I didn't have not said as yet in this video is that at the end of all this, I pick up a ping crossover, which is the modern day driving iron from ping. And uh, I threw in a shot at the very end to see how that compares. But let's have a look what I did first of all. Here's some numbers up on screen of the uh, one iron that I hit, which like I said, um, I was more than happy with. Uh, average carry distance, 180 yards, spinning at 3.3. Managed to get that ball up and out at 63 feet, which believe me, I thought it'd be literally thinning along the ground. 2.01 carry, because this thing, uh, it certainly ran for a bit. Uh, low launch in 12.9. Um, a 122 ball speed. Um, decent numbers, I've got to say, really pleased. I think that if you go back to the video and you see the shots that I hit, you'll see the difference between uh, good and bad is quite obvious um, with this kind of club and with this age of club. You don't need to look down the fairway. You only need to feel what has just happened in your hands because the one with a big smile on the face, I know I'd buttoned it, I got it right out of the middle and it was an absolute joy and pleasure to hit, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And the very next shot, I didn't do that and I certainly felt it in my right hand when the performance just wasn't quite there. And I think that just highlights the major difference between clubs of old, clubs of new. Um, they were certainly, you know, again, I've said it before, so I can't keep repeating this, but skilled players who could use this kind of iron. Um, small, small sweet spot. And I think again, without repeating from the previous video, that is the major difference. It's the size purely the size of the club head first of all. Let's have a look now when I'm talking about size of head. Look at the ping crossover iron alongside the ping one iron. Can you believe the difference in size of those two alone? I mean, one looks like it's a driving iron. It looks like putting a driver behind the ball compared to this one iron. Um, huge chunky thing, the crossover. Um, and from a confidence level, I mean, you stick that behind the ball and you think, you know, I can't miss, I can't go wrong. You put that one iron and you literally hold your breath and pray you put a good swing on it. So there's massive differences. And in performance, here we go. Let me just throw this one up on screen alongside these. Now, this was a four iron. It carried 195, uh, 3000 spin, peaking 96, absolutely went into orbit. Launching at 18.3, which is there it is the going into orbit and uh, a 123 ball speed. I mean, to be honest with you, I had a really good shot. I literally picked it up out the uh, out the rack and I thought, wow, I haven't hit this for a while. It absolutely uh, flew out there. But yeah, huge differences um, in performance level. And I think a huge uh, demonstration of once again where technology has changed uh, to just purely say that, uh, you know, kind of lofts have changed and strengthening lofts and all this nonsense is like, Come on, this is a prime example of where life is a damn sight easy. And I tell you now, anyone who plays golf right now, we have got it easy, let me tell you. We have got it so easy. So when you hit a bad shot, make no excuses, that's down to you because these clubs nowadays are so much more forgiving and helpful than 
a ping one iron. But either way, absolutely fantastic. Enjoyed every minute of testing it, having it in my hands. And uh, like I said, I'd love to see ping. Please bring back that iconic shape uh, that you carried for so many years in the irons because it is such a good look, in my opinion. But what's yours? Anybody else's opinion on how the ping irons look? Um, is it just me or do they look far better and unique as well? Anyway, that is the video done. I hope you enjoyed that. A bit of fun because um, none of us are likely to go out and buy a ping one iron from 35 years old, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Comments down below. Yeah, thumbs up. That's the other one. I keep doing this wrong way around because I've noticed on everyone's videos at the moment they all ask this at the beginning. So clearly uh, it's a change in trend on how you're supposed to do this bit. But I'll ask anyway. Subscribe if you don't already. And that's me. See you soon.